Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to turn off your hard disk or hard drive after a certain amount of time passes on Windows 10. So there's actually a power option that will let people determine how much inactive time you want to pass before Windows will automatically turn off your computer. So this can definitely help extend your battery life if you're using a laptop or desktop if you're just looking to be more environmentally considerate and you'd rather just not leave your computer on if you're not using it. Okay, so we're going to head over to our start button and we're going to type in power options. We should have a little icon with a battery and a cord wrapped around it. So left click on that. So left click underneath change plan settings. You can select any plan you want. Just select any change plan settings from one of the three listed here. Might be more for you guys, who knows, but I have three on my screen. So I'm gonna select the first one. And then I see there's a further option that says change advanced power settings. So left click on that now. Left click on the little plus sign next to hard disk. And then there's another plus sign next to turn off hard disk after. Left click on that. So right now we can set it for 20 minutes. If you're running a laptop, it'll say on battery, you have an additional option here. But since this is a desktop computer, we only have one setting here. So if we left click on the setting button, we can now change how many minutes we want to pass before the hard disk is turned off. I would recommend keeping it over 20 minutes because if you have it underneath 20 minutes, it puts more wear and tear on your hard drive from shutting down and turning on more frequently. So I think 20 minutes is pretty ideal. Um, I mean, I think Microsoft has that set for a reason, but if you want to extend it for longer or shorter, it doesn't really matter too much. But once you're done with that, just cluff click on apply and okay when you're satisfied with the settings and you should be good to go. So I hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out and I will catch you in the next video. Goodbye.